Okay, this is day three and this is the episode zero one of the AWS Essentials. Let's log into the Ubuntu 20. In the first episode, we launched the Ubuntu 2020.04 20 in the cloud. Okay, now let's assess this, it. The, the step zero is to open the AWS management and control and, and put the name as Ubuntu 20. Okay, let's see if it, it accepts this number. Okay, okay, I'm here in my Ubuntu. Let's, here is the last episode. Let's view the instance and come to the, this instance and let's put the name right here. Okay, AWS and hit enter and now you have the Ubuntu running, okay? This is terminated in the first episode. Let's see if you, we can uh, make it, okay, be there, okay? Let's run the Ubuntu uh, 20. Let's see the page, the, f the next step, okay? Let's see what we have to do now. Okay, the next step, step one, we will need to change this IP address to a fixed IP. Okay, let's see what is what is my IP now. Okay, my, my IP is this one, and this is dynamic IP address. We have to make it fixed. Go now to a service and go to the root. 53 okay and see there okay okay i have now a hosted zone here but let's continue what i have to i have made in the in the in my first attempt okay and you will understand how to make a hosted zone okay let's return to the page and i will show you how okay we need to change this like dynamic IP, okay. I have I I have to step two for this. Go to Elastic IP, okay. I I already come there. Let's see, okay. Let's return to the Elastic IP. Root fifty three. No Elastic IP, okay. Sorry. Let's return to my my Elastic IP service. And let's see, Elastic IP management, uh, networking, networking, so Elastic IP. Where is the Elastic IP? Let's refer to my page to see where is the Elastic IP. Okay, the Elastic IP is allocated is is in Internet and security. Elastic IP. Let's see if it is. Is running yet? Network identity. Let's let's see. Elastic. Okay, elastic IP. Elastic IP address feature. Elastic IP. Okay, is it your feature? Okay. Here, I have to come to here, Elastic IP. Okay, here is, here I am at Elastic IP. He, you see right here, Elastic IP, okay. And what I have to do is, let's return to my page. Okay, allocating an Elastic IP by hitting the allocating, I allocate button. Okay, you will, Let's return to that, and I will show you. You hit the allocate new address, return to that, and uh, okay, and now you have to make this, okay, allocate, okay, you, you choose the US West 2 and make this the default setting and allocate the button 
And then this step four, AWS give your IP address. Okay, and you, you will be offered by a, a fixed IP address. Then you go to, and then you let associate it with the running Ubuntu instance. Click on associate elastic IP address. That, that's, let's make it right now, okay. Let's make it right now, sorry. Okay, let's make it right now. Okay, here I am. Let's allocate a new address. Let's, I have to associate this, this number, IP address, action with the new allocate new address. Associate address, okay. Let's associate the instance that is running right now. Running, okay. Associate private IP, private IP associated. Okay, this is another private IP address. I, I think I, we have future, okay. Network interface, but I prefer the the other address. Let's return to my page and see. Or oh, my number is fifty four and one nine zero associate I IP address, but the number now is another one because I associated another IP address. Okay, let's. Let's choose this one. Okay, let's choose this one. Associate the, the Ubuntu and the number filter. May, uh, I think I can do it. Okay, but uh, the let's associate another IP address. Okay, allow Elastic IP to reassociate if already attached. No, let's associate it with this number no let's conceal it and this is the elastic ip address but where is i had a what to associate with the new so see address at a did it did tag no tags let's see associate address okay let's associate address network interfaces no instance okay the instance is this one select the ip address there you have only one okay let's associate this one okay associate this IP address, associate address successfully close and let's return to the EC2 EC2 and see if the address is now associated with the running okay this one okay this is terminated the IP address is this one okay is associated all right, I think this is fine, okay. The same number that I have the first one, but this is disabled monitor, uh, the, okay, it's running, but the monitor is disabled, all right. There you have it. Let's continue our web page, in our web page. Let's return to the web page. Okay, this is the number of my association that maintain instance select. Okay, and now let's associate IP, IP address. Choose Ubuntu 20. Okay, and that's that's it. Return to the E2C2. I already do this, and you see the IP address already do this. Now let's open Puri Gen. Locate your Ubuntu server key perf for okay. We have to convert to the PPK 
private key, okay? I already did this, but I will do it again for you, okay? Let's let's see if I can put it in, okay? Let's see if you can see this, okay? Let's capture the pretty generation, okay? This one, okay? That's it. The pretty generation. We have to load. Let's see. Pretty gene. We have to load the key. I put it in the download. Let me see where is my where is my key pair. Okay, where I keep it. No wrap. Okay, documents. Let's see where I put my wrap. Let's see. AWS, AWS, Amazon. Where I put my. Sorry about that. Audacity from T. Rapid traffic. Not, not at not at all let's see where sorry let me okay here is my my key ubuntu 20 server it's a pretty private okay it's a it's a private one and you have to choose okay okay there you have it ubuntu 20 pen file click open Okay, successfully imported the key, and now you will save this like this, and you get PPK, okay, for you. Fine. Okay, let's continue this page. Here is in my web page. Now that you have the PPK private key, put it private key, you have to okay save in now server okay and there you have it now let's configure it ubuntu server key pp key okay step 11 now open pretty okay let's open it up right now and in the authenticated save the save ppk server okay and then you you put the ubuntu in the data and then you save the section by naming ubuntu 20 okay let's do it right now okay let's return to the let's see let's open the ubuntu or oh, putty sorry putty okay let's see that if we have we there okay we are in the ubuntu sorry in the putty configuration it's okay here you have it okay now what i have to do now is to go to the ssh authenticated and browse for the ubuntu key and open it up and now you go to the data and put right here in Ubuntu, right? And then go to the section, and this is the name. I will reuse here it Ubuntu. Let's okay. Let's first let's delete this in Ubuntu twenty. Let's see. 20 a double s okay a a double s okay sorry a double s okay ubuntu server a double s and hit save yes hit save okay now let's see if we can let's load this load no no load okay okay all oh, right let's put sorry 
but we have to put the IP right here. Let's return to the this the AWS sorry right here and see the IP address is this this one. Let's copy. Let's copy this IP. Control C. Return to the Pucci. Control V. There you have it. Save it. Okay. Load. And now let's hit open and see if everything will working. Okay. And there you have it. Let me show you if you can view this image right here to make okay sorry sorry i will correct it for you put the security alert okay this is the putty security alert that show you that everything is working fine in putty okay let's Here is the putty security alert. Let's hit. Okay, let's continue. Once you have the PPK saved, you call PuTTY for SSS configuration. Let's let's let me show you what you have to do now. Is to okay? I already did this. This okay? And you can uh, go to the authenticated. Put the the key, call the key. Let me show you. Okay, a key. Browse for the key. Okay, PP key, and then go to the data. Put Ubuntu right here, and in the in this step, you have to save the IP in your in your name host and hit save and then you hit open let's do it right here okay now when you see this that right here the warning 
potential security breach is that the everything is running okay let's hit yes okay there is some in some uh, unexpected close connection let's let's try again put it i sorry for this okay i will okay here is putty okay let's review what i do here go to here authenticated sorry authenticated browse for the ubuntu right here okay now you go to the data and put ubuntu Ubuntu user. Now you go to the session and let's paste the IP address. It's it, that one SSH and let's save. Let's hit save and now the name will be a double S save. Okay and let's load and now let's open and see if everything will work fine okay i think everything is working fine let me show you there you have it everything is working fine let me show you i am in ubuntu i am in the ubuntu 20 server key right now i am in the cloud and i think let's return to my web page and see if it is all okay ubuntu and that is all for now thank you very much for this episode please visit jungletronic to see more information about this awesome episode about AWS web servers in the cloud and thank you very much to join me here at J3 channel hope you enjoyed this video and bye for now